Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a long, long overdue pan those eyeshadows update. You guys know I've been super behind on everything YouTube pretty much since quarantine and this is one of those projects that just fell by the wayside. I honestly kind of forgot about it. Every time I watch one of my friends videos I was like, oh yeah, I'm doing that project and then it was just out of my mind again. I haven't updated this project since May 21st, which is so crazy to me. I don't even know how long, I don't even know how that amount of time has passed since updating a project, but in saying that, I also, like, the highest, the shade I used the most, I have five uses on. Like, I just completely forgot about this project. So, there's not a ton of progress going to be going on today in today's video. However, I will be rolling one new shade in. That's enough rambling for me. Let's get started with this update. This is the Pan Those Eyeshadows project. I did this last year as well. It was created by Alexi, who is always linked down below. I will be doing this project again next year, but again with a few changes and... Hopefully 2021 is much better than 2020. In this project, I randomly select five eyeshadows to work on. The goal is to either hit pan on them or at least use them 30 times. At the 30 use mark, I can choose to roll it out if I wish to. However, if I feel like I'm really close to pan, I will keep it in the project beyond 30 uses, but I have that in place because through my panning experience, I either hit pan in an eyeshadow around the 25, 30 use mark or in like the 60 to 75 use mark. So I don't wanna be working on eyeshadows forever. Before I show you the progress, I am going to insert a picture of what my color story looked like over the last four months. I'm just going to go in the order and start with the shades that have been in here since January. The first is from my Alomar Cosmary and I still have only used it 19 times. Like I said, I just pretty much completely forgot about this project. The shade I'm working on is El Malacone, which is this beautiful green shade. And I do have a really good dip in there. I hope you can see, like I said, I have used this 19 times, so I hope to use it another 11 and see where I'm at. I have been told that these pans are extremely deep. So let me swatch this. The shade is stunning. Lately, I've been loving pairing this with the purple that's also in this project, which I am wearing today. I'm not wearing this shade today, but I have been pairing those together and really like that. I've used this five times over the last four months, and that has pretty much been over the last two weeks once I was like, oh, yes, you need to work on these eyeshadows. So 11 more uses. So I should be able to have this out next month for sure. The other shade that's been in here since January is from my NYX Ultimate Brights palette and it's the first shade, so this red. I'm choosing to veto this, roll it out. Steph has a three vetoes in her yearly for over the course of the year and I'm definitely going to implement that next year however i've had this in this project for nine months and i've only used it eight times i just don't want to reach for this palette anymore i have pan in this pink shade i was working on this blue in my whole collection project pan as well and i did roll it out of there although there's a better dip in the blue than the red it's just so stiff this is not a favorite shade and I just, I'm not finding myself reaching for this palette. I'm not ready to declutter it. I've just worked on it so much over the last year and a half that I'm kind of burnt out on it. And it's just not my favorite formula. I will swatch it, I'll swatch it on my other hand. But it comes off more of like a deep pink shade. It does have gold shimmer in it, but like it's so patchy and hard to work with. 
like I'm really building this up and you can still see my skin through my like through the swatch so this is kind of cheating but it's just taking a place and it's part of the reason I feel like I gave up on this project because looking at the color story I was working with and knowing that I didn't like this shade and it's been in the longest so this should have been one of my top priorities it was just bumming me out to be honest so I'm just getting rid of it I don't care if that's cheating and I only reached for it three times three of the eight times or over the last four months which was like I said the last about two weeks when I realized like oh crap I should really be working on these eyeshadows and I just am not inspired to incorporate that into any of my looks so we'll be rolling in a new shade at the end a shade I've really been enjoying is from my Urban Decay Born to Run palette it's the shade Guilt Trip that I'm working on. I am wearing it today. This palette is a really great fall palette. I'm happy that it's in my everyday makeup drawer. I actually rolled this into my Painter's Pan project as well to create three like very different eye looks using this palette. And I'm just happy to be working on this, to be honest. I have reached for this four times over the last four months and again that's been over the last week or two for a total of 10 uses so 20 more uses and I can roll it out however I do have a dip starting um but we'll see I know that these eyeshadows are pretty hard to hit pan on we'll just see where I'm at at 30 uses I may choose to roll it out but this is a great shade to be working on this during the season in my last update, I actually rolled in two new eyeshadows. So the first of which came from my Pure Festival palette and it is the shade Good Vibes. I used this four times. It's a much deeper um, kind of coppery shade than I originally anticipated. Like obviously I can see it's kind of on the deeper side in the pan, but on my eyes it just turns like it makes the look look a little bit more deep and smoky than I originally thought. Like when I first started reaching for it for looks and putting it all over my lid, I was like, whoa, this is getting pretty dark. So now I know how to, how I want to use it a little bit better. It is really beautiful. I'm quite enjoying this formula. It's a really nice metallic coppery shade. Now looking at it, maybe I should pair the purple and this copper together. That might be a fun color combo. The other shade I rolled in last update was also from my BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I had hit pan in a shade that I rolled out last update only to roll in a different shade from this palette. I can hit pan in these shades in approximately 16 uses and I've only used it three times so far. It's shade 29 which is this kind of murky warm toned green shimmer. It's a lot different than I thought it would be. It's very similar to the Alomar shade in how I would use it, but definitely has like a very yellowy, I have to build it up quite a bit, um, undertone to it. It's like a grassy summery green. And I really wish I had used this a lot more this summer. Like this color story is very like summery going into fall. So I'm excited to see what shade I roll in this time. There's no dip or anything happening in this shadow yet at only three uses. However, approximately 13 more uses and having pan gives me hope. So. Now onto the exciting part. Let's roll in one new shade. Then I will have a couple of looks to share with you that I've created over the last four months. I'm just gonna share maybe two or three and then we'll talk about goals to wrap it up. I have in my Pretty Random app the numbers one to 682. These are all of my eyeshadows. It's fully updated. I do not want to roll in a black. And other than that, I think everything's fair game. I don't know if I want to say that. We'll see. I had a comment last time when I rolled in yet another shade from this, and it's also another green shade after having just hit pan, 
that I can have a re-roll and then choose between the two if it's a shade that I really, really don't wanna work on. So I might take that to heart and that will kind of go into my veto system. I'm definitely in the mood to like plan out all of my 2021 projects. Anyways, that's besides the point. Let's see what new shade I'm adding to my color story, shade 94. Comes from one of my older palettes, which is good. Oh, this is a great fall palette. However, I have no idea what shade, like what the actual shade pan is. So let me go grab that. Okay, shade 94 in my eyeshadow spreadsheet comes from the Morphe and Kathleen Lights collab palette and it's the seventh shade. This is a discontinued palette. It's not, not what I consider to be cruelty free. So I wanna be working on it anyways. And I haven't reached for this in a very long time. So I'm very excited. Let's see, shade seven, close it right in my face. So it's a 15 pan palette. Five, six, seven is this kind of taupey color, but isn't this a great, like fall color story. This one got beat up. I had to repress it because when Wyatt was a toddler, he like dug it out because it was the prettiest one, of course. This is pretty dusty. It's kind of like a purpley taupe shimmer. Oh, that is going to pair so beautifully with my Guilt Trip shade. This is a very cohesive color story. I will pop in a better picture here. I am so pleased with this. I'm so happy I decided to kick out this patchy dry red shade. Okay, I'm feeling so much better. I'm feeling re-inspired, which is the point of this project is to be creative, get out of your comfort zone, create new color combinations, and I'm so, so pleased. So my goal on this will of course be to hit pan or at least use it 30 times and see where we're at at that point. Okay, I'm going to pop up this summary one. I did this at the beginning of July. I used the coppery shade from the Pure Festival palette as well as the greens on my lower lash line and in my inner corner. I felt like this was a very summery beach inspired look with like the sandy coppery color blues and the greens. I was pretty happy with that and it definitely pushed me creatively. Then I did a more murky greenish cool toned type of look. It's kind of hard to describe. I think it was Laura said it reminds me of, reminds her of watermelons because I had green on my eyes and then like a corally peach lip that were definitely like really contrasting and I liked that look a lot. And lastly, I wanted to share this look that got a, a lot of engagement from you guys all over on my Instagram, and I called it Simple Purple. I combined the purple from my Urban Decay palette with the pinkish tones from my ABH Modern Renaissance, which I'm trying to hit pan on two shades in my Graveyard Project pan. And I just love this picture and I love the way that makeup turned out. I think everything was just working well together with my hair and the lip and the eyeshadows and I definitely wanted to share that one with you. To wrap things up, let's talk about goals for next month and I will try my best to actually update in one month. I, I have some pretty lofty goals. First off, the Alomar shade, only 11 more uses. That's definitely doable. I just need to push myself to be a little bit more creative with it. I'm someone that really hates to pan a look like I can't do that I need some variety maybe if I do it like once a week the same look I'd feel okay with it but I definitely can't do it every day but 11 uses like I said is completely doable and maybe I'll hit pan before that who knows and then I think my next target would I mean only 13 approximately 13 more uses on the other green shade to hit pan on it 
I don't know if I want to set that goal. I don't know if I'll be able to roll out two shades, but I try and go like have the one that's been in the longest be my priority and move down. However, I think this is definitely my top priority, the Alomar Cosmetics. And then I might equally focus on the Irma Decay Born to Run shade as well as the BH Cosmetics shade because I know I can the BH Cosmetics shades are so small that I don't want it lingering until the like end of the year, which we pretty much are. I mean, I would have another update and then a finale because I do think I wanna do a complete refresh for the new year. So we'll see. I'm not sure how many pans I'll be able to hit by the end of the year, but I'm definitely feeling more inspired for my project pans and YouTube and makeup in general recently. I feel like things have finally settled now that we're back to school and back in a good routine and stuff. I'm feeling much better. I'm sorry that this update wasn't all that exciting. I'm hoping for better next month. As I keep mentioning, I am feeling a lot better these days and I'm excited to hit some more pans. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love it when you guys comment on fun color fun color combinations in the comments below. I definitely have a very fun color story and I'm excited to see what I will create. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!